hello guys welcome to the new video today I will show you how we can show the dynamic data and pass data through props to the custom components because last time when we created the custom components we write the code hard-coded but this time we, we are not going to uh, show the hard-coded data on on our pages but we will write the data dynamically on the pages so let's get started and write start doing the code so last time uh, we created this component and I print the student ID and name and details but div and now you can see here we have passed the data hard coded but as you know we have already discussed that uh, in react when we work on the JSX we can write the HTML plus JavaScript but here we have not written any JavaScript now uh, but before returning the data to the back to the component uh, components to show render on the pages we can write the javascript in this function so in uh, i will create one uh, function in this function i will add some student records const student records i will write std records and create array ID one and then student name and then we can have some student record like age email So this is uh, one record. I can add multiple records here. Right. So I have created. Uh, this is uh, this is this is a way uh, we can add a dy dynamic record on the page. So I have written some records. I have shown you how we can add that. So now uh, I have more than one record. I have uh, on one I have Amir. Then we have id2 i have id3 id4 id5 we can also change the age and then right so these are the records so now if i need to show here what we we can do you remember when we did the expressions we 20 plus 20 this uh, this the express we can do uh, the expressions in jsx so if i write 20 plus 20 it's 40. same like this we can add the javascript uh, code or like constant variables uh, call the functions directly from these expressions and show the values so now the objective students record on zero index i need to show the id same like this for the name i will show student records student name i need to close this expression so that means from this array first record i will show full name so now let's see we have that we have shown the data dynamically uh, uh, we have created one array and get the value from the from that array and show on this page so uh, now let's suppose if i add more than one record on this page i can show the dynamic data now because in the previous example i showed this all this data In place of one, I will pass zero plus one, and then I will show two. So let me three records. So here you can see on index one, I have Amir Perez, index two, G, uh, index zero, I have Amir Perez, index one, James, and index two, Sarah Albert. So this is uh, one way of uh, showing the dynamic record to our pages, which is very cool and easy to understand. We write the JavaScript code in our JS. Uh, dot js file and uh, as we already discussed uh, 
the HTML uh, controls is, is a combination of two things. H, mm, sorry, uh, React uh, controls are combination of two things. JSX, uh, which stands for HTML plus JavaScript. So this is the complete HTML, uh, which we write in the return. And in the function, in this function, I write the JavaScript. So when we combine these two uh, things, it, it makes the complete JSX controls. So this is a pure way of writing the JSX controls. Now, if I need to show with the properties, what I will do, I will cut this and paste all the code in, on the app, app component. And on the app component, I need to remove all this code. So now you can see it's one and I will write, rewrite the names so that it not not get fail. Okay, let's check the output. That's fine. Now go on the app.js. Now here uh, we will show how we can pass the data from the uh, control properties. Control properties are basically when we create any function in JavaScript. It is same like this. Like I create any function, get deploy ID. Let's suppose. and employ records and it take two uh, parameters EMP ID EMP code let's suppose so as you can see here it takes the two argument two parameters and it will return whatever will be the requirement. So you all know that uh, this is actually uh, how the JavaScript functions work. They take the inputs and return back the data which we uh, which we needed. Uh, the, these components are also the same like the uh, JavaScript functions. Uh, it will take the inputs as the parameters and will return back the responses. So now you can see here we have the one uh, student record uh, component and it will take the inputs. Uh, so uh, props are basically uh, the values which we pass in the components uh, like just like same like the attributes we uh, we create attributes on the for the HTML side but we will create the properties here for the pro pro properties on the com uh, custom components we call them the props so how like if I need to pass student ID I will write student ID and from where I'm getting the student ID SD records zero and ID and if I need student name SVD records student name. So uh, uh, in this way, how we can pass the properties uh, to our custom uh, components. And if I go here, all I need to do is I will write ID and student name. But this is not a, a right way to do this. Uh, when we work on the React.js, uh, what React.js do on the backend, it combine all the uh, uh, parameters into single object which we call it props and in the props we have uh, like let's suppose it, uh, this is uh, student I, this is ID and this is student name so uh, ID is basically the key and this uh, part the expression is the value so we get all the fields in the uh, key value pair combination and in, in this object of props we will have ID as a key and value as a uh, as a pair so key value pair combination will work here. So now in this props object, we have all the attributes or we can say the parameters which we pass on this component. So if I now I need to pass the student ID, what I will do, I will write props the same way in the expression, in the curly brackets, props dot ID. And here I will pass props dot student name. So if I go here and check it, you can see here, it's showing Amber Purvis. So now we can uh, reuse this component multiple time. If I pass one, two, and one, to, one thing to make sure, uh, all the fields name which you are passing here, the property names of the properties, that must be same here as well as, otherwise it will not show your data. So now you can see, 
I'm reusing the components. How easy it is it is now to reusing the components and pass the properties and use those um, components here. So let's suppose if I if I write the wrong field name here, it is not going to show the data because uh, it expects that uh, props dot student name will a value will be show here, but uh, as in this object the value is, does not exist, so it's not sure. So you need to make sure whatever the value you pass here in the uh, in the custom on the properties name you must need to pass that same uh, name in, in the component as well as. So this is how uh, we can write the dynamic data. First I show you the dynamic data, how we can pass output the dynamic data uh, using the HTML and the JavaScript, pure JavaScript, and then how we can pass the data from the properties uh, to our custom controls to show or render the data on our controls. So thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or any difficulty to understand, please write to me or text me or email me. I am I'm happy to help you. And keep watching the videos and hit the like button and also the bell button so you get the notification of the new videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Hope you enjoy it.